Hello Internet, this is the Root. This is my, uh, pretty much my JVC Evrio EX, sorry, EX250BU or BUS. And if I was to hit this thing with my palm, it would shut right off. Yeah, I'm not about to do that. I don't want to start this recording again. So, here's a fun fact. What I didn't account for is when this thing and the monopod snapped and broke and this thing landed on the ground. You know, that's where it landed. I pretty much didn't think that I so avoid looking at myself in the fucking reflection. Didn't think it was actually gonna happen. And I didn't think something internal was gonna fuck up. And I'm not gonna shake this either because I lost power by shaking it too really hard. So I was doing a time lapse today. I'm not saying the last time lapse it actually didn't fuck up. Now it is even worse. The last time lapse I did didn't fuck up too bad. I thought it was a battery. It wasn't. Well actually one of them did die, but this time, well, it won't record if I bump it. And I only got about 19 seconds or just down the street from where I started the time lapse. Where the first bump pretty much stopped it from working. And it wasn't even recorded ever since then. Yeah, that's fucking disappointing. So, I'm now in search of new equipment because either that or I gotta pretty much purchase a 32 gigabyte SDHC card in order to use in my Canon Vixia, which is fine. It's slightly heavier. It's not as lightweight as this motherfucker. And uh, what I'm eyeing is the DS200 or EX200, whatever the fuck that is. I looked up and I found a few listings on the classified, so I'm pretty much going to get a replacement camcorder for this and retire this permanently. But the only thing is, they gotta take the same batteries. So that's gonna be the hardest part. I wanna be able to reuse the existing batteries with the same camcorder. So I sent a few messages to a few people on the classifieds to see, you know, what the model number is because they just listed KBC camcorder. Or DVC video equipment. I looked at the camera. It looks like the it has the Evrio branding on it. But, uh... Well, it could be very old. And it could be the very first one JVC made. And in that case, it's just not going to work with the battery. And I don't want to have to invest or spill more funds on batteries just to be able to use the camera. And I don't want to find out that it's not going to take an SDXC card, you know. Anything bigger than 64 gigabytes, or bigger than 32 gigabytes. Only to find out that my memory card is just not going to work in it. Well, I could try and format it for FAT32. I've done that. I tried it in Avixia. The video turned out white. Yeah. It didn't work. So, I was hoping to do a very long time lapse, but then again, it didn't work. So, either that, or I gotta buy another memory card. And 32 gigabyte SD cards, or micro SD, are gonna be a lot harder to find than uh, the X extended capacity ones. So, yeah, hopefully I can actually come across placement camera I'm not too positive on it being 1080p at 60 frames per second but even though you know that would be very ideal I don't care about 4k I just want to be able to use the existing batteries I have I got three the fat one this is using and the two extra that came with it that are compatible amongst the whole Evrio brand you know they're budget camcorders what the fuck do I care so, <clears throat> I'm just hoping that I'm able to actually get it, and then, recording the time lapses, will be 100% successful, and I won't have to deal with the, you know, the bollocks survive. 
figuring, is this even going to work? Is this even going to record this? Is it going to record? Is it going to actually not fuck up the recording? Is it not going to reboot as soon as I bam it? Yeah. That's what going through my head. It was going through my head the entire time. I rode for about six, seven hours. Yeah, around, yeah, six or seven hours. And by the time I checked, I was actually on the trail when I stopped to check. Despite how cold it was, I had a thermos with a hot beverage in it, so it didn't bother me too much. To rule it out, I hit the playback. I hit the playback, you know, the view the playback function. And, uh, that's when I realized, oh my fucking god. It didn't even record nothing. Only 19 seconds. Just getting down the street and that was it. The first bump I hit, that was it. Well. <sighs> Replacing uh, equipment would be nice. That way, you know, I'll have to end up getting it sooner or later anyway. Because otherwise, time lapse are going to be fucking miserable. Damn here, it's buzzing. Now, besides that, uh, yeah, I had a good ride today. I skipped on uh, catching the idiots that normally gather at Queens Park, so there's likely only about a hundred of them or less, because most of the most of them are at Parliament Hill right now, or whatever they were anyway. So, yeah, there was only when I passed by Queens Park. There's only about eight of them standing, holding the flags, and that was it. I didn't give a fuck. I just went past them, assuming the thing was recording <laughs> when it wasn't. Anyways, uh, yeah. I'm likely, if I do retire this from time-lapse filming, this will just be used for video blogs and nothing more. The Vixie is the backup one. Because, you know, you just never know. Although I'm going to be using that more often until I can get the replacement equipment. And the person didn't sell it and forget to remove the ad of Kajiji. Or the, what am I saying, the classifieds in general. Penny didn't actually remove it before they actually uh, posted it. Then, nice. I'll be able to get replacement equipment. But as for the model number, I won't even know until they get back to me. That's the one on the marketplace, you know, Facebook marketplace. There's quite a few on there. But they're not willing to travel to Ottawa or uh, Quebec or wherever the fuck else they had it in order to get the camera because, no, that's just too fucking far. And I doubt they're even going to meet me in Toronto. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's just nuts. Anyways, that's all. Wanted to make a video blog on my... Crippled time lapse equipment or JVC Embryo EX250 BU. It's just, uh, I'm disappointed that it's fucked up beyond repair in that regard. But it still records, that's the good thing. It's just I can't bang it. And I can still use it for stationary, yes, stationary time lapse where it's not going to be moved or bumped. And this way, I won't have a problem with that. That's okay. But, for anything other than that, fuck no. I'm not going to bother putting it on the uh, tripod mount, because it just won't fucking work. It'll have to be the Vixia for the time being. Maybe I can try and get it to work with this 128 gigabyte memory card. You know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace out, and have a good day. And feel free to subscribe, because it doesn't cost a goddamn cent.